The EU consent system is designed to make age verification a lot simpler for users. But one important additional aspect of our system is the ability for younger children to secure the consent of their parents to what they're doing online. In Europe, the general data protection regulations make it clear that younger children aren't able to give consent for their personal data to be shared unless their parents also give consent. The age limit for that varies between 13 and 16, depending on which state you're in within Europe. However, if you're under that age and you try to sign up to a website which wants to process your personal data, for example, a social media site, and it does so on the basis of securing the consent of the user. And I should say that's only one of the reasons why a website is allowed to process a child's data, or in fact, any of our data. So they can, for example, use legitimate interest or fulfilling a contract or a public interest. But if they're relying on you giving consent, then they will need to check that you are old enough to do so without your parents being involved. So where EU consent will step in, is if a person trying to use one of those websites, which is seeking to secure consent, is not old enough to do so, then a parental consent provider will ask that child to put them in touch with their parent. And once they've established contact with the parent, the provider will check that the parent is actually an adult. And having checked that, they may even want to try to check that the adult is related to the child and has the legal authority to give that consent. Anyway, having established that the person has you know, sufficient standing reliably to give that consent, then they'll be asked to do so and the website will be informed that consent has been secured. Now, the reason we're doing this through the EU consent network is so that when perhaps a week later, later the child wants to open another social media account, the new social media site will ask their parental consent provider, which may be a completely different organisation, uh, to conduct that check. And that new provider will be able to see, based on a, a cookie, a token that's been left on the device being used by the child, that they've already gone through an EU consent, parental consent process. And on that basis, the new provider can contact the original provider, who of course already has made contact with the parents and has verified that they are able to give consent um, and ask that original provider to help secure consent for the new social media site. So that's what parental consent in the EU consent process is all about.